Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We're going to show you how to make a slider out of just about any content you want. Really easy to do. You can take rows, you can take modules, you can take sections. Create a slider out of them and we're rolling around. It's a great way of saving a bit of real estate on your site and showing a lot of content within your hero section. Really easy to do. So let me take you through it. So here we have our site. This is pretty much where I left it last time. We showed you how to add that typing with the free plugin. I've got a few sections here with some content in them, a few little blurb modules there, some call to actions, a little image and another blurb module right there, and a little contact form. I'm going to make all of these into a little slider right there. I've done that over on this page here. There's our little image and blurb module. It's going to roll around to a contact form. And it's going to roll around those blurb modules with the images. And then to our little call to actions. And once you put your mouse on it, it's going to stop. And of course, people can read the content, go down and hit whatever actions you want them to take there. When you take your mouse off, it's going to start rolling around again. And that's a fantastic way of displaying a lot of content in a small bit of real estate. And of course, with the contact form, they can put their mouse on it. Once they do that, it's going to stop rotating and they can fill it out, send it off. Really easy to do. So let's get started. OK, the first thing we want to do is either create, if you haven't created them already, or save these sections that we've got here to our Divi library. For anybody that doesn't know how to do that, just go to the section, row, or module you want to save here. Let's enable the Visual Builder. And we're going to roll on down. And we'll use these sections again. I'm going to save the rows. You can do it with sections if you want, and you can also do it with modules if you want. So we've got to save this to our library to be able to do this today. So click on whatever it is you want to save. I'm going to save this row. Little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. If we click on it, we can save it to our Divi library. I just call this one three blurbs. And we'll save it to our library. Great. Once we save it to our library, go ahead and do the next one. And the next one, whatever content you want to put in your slider. I've already got these in my library. I just wanted to show you how to save those. Or we can exit the Visual Builder now. Let's go down to our dashboard. And to get this done today, we need to install a free plugin. It's the same one that we installed yesterday. So if you watch that and you've got it, you've already got it. If you haven't, links below in the description there. Click on it. It'll take you to this page. Roll down just a little bit. And here it is, Divi Supreme. And it comes with 20 extra modules and three little extensions there. And it's absolutely free. We're going to install the same plugin today as we installed yesterday. If you saw that video, the Dibby Supreme Lite module comes with 20 free modules and several free extensions. We're going to be using one of the extensions today, which adds a short code feature to your Dibby library. And this is essential for doing this sort of thing. For a free plugin, it's got some amazing features. If you're interested in learning more about it, have a look at our Divi Supreme Modules like playlist, it's down below here. I've made several videos on this plugin in the past that you may find interesting. So let's get this done. Let's add some short codes and make our slider work. Click on the more info. Then hit the get started button. It'll take you straight to the download page. Go ahead and hit the download button. As you can see, mine's downloaded to my browser. I'm using Google Chrome here. Depending on which browser you're using, yours will da download to your default download location. Great, so once we've got it downloaded, we can go back to our dashboard, go to Plugins, go to Add New Plugin. That's going to pop up this page right here. I've got it downloaded, so I want to upload it. I'm going to hit the Upload Plugin button up here. I can simply drag mine up just to the right of the choose file button there. 
or you can choose file and browse to it. Once you've got it there, hit the install now. I'm not going to hit the install now because I've already got mine here. And once it's installed, go ahead and hit the activate button. Once you've got it activated, you'll see Divi Supreme down here in your little side menu. If you click on it, it'll take you to the general settings where we've got some extensions here. You want to make sure you've got enable Divi library shortcodes set to on. Right hand side, so it's purple like that. Once you change it, hit your save changes button. Fantastic. Okay. So if we go back here, we saved all these to our Divi library. Just get that plugin out of the way. I don't need that anymore down there. So if we go back to our dashboard down here, go down to Divi, here's the library. And since we've installed Divi Supreme and switched the shortcode switch to on, we've got a list of shortcodes beside the things that we saved just now. There's the three blurbs that I just saved. And in the library, it tells you what things are. Here's a row, here's a section, section. You've got all kind of layouts. It'll tell you what it is. So I know exactly the ones that I want to add to my new slider. Now using the Divi library is a fantastic feature. It allows us to import, export sections, rows, whole page layouts if you want to. Take them over to a different site, reuse them. If you spend a lot of time styling stuff or you've got a nice brand color system, you can take it over and reuse it that way. Adding these shortcodes to your library really does help the functionality and you can import and export these things just about any way you want to. And it's a great way of putting a site together really quickly using your saved modules that you can reuse on other pages that have already got the styling on. Just update the content with them. For our purposes today, we're going to use the shortcodes, obviously, as you've seen. And it makes for a really great feature. So let's get back to it. So now if we go over to this page, let's enable the visual builder. I'm going to go down, let's create a new section. Little purple button there. I'm going to create a regular section. Inside my section, I'm going to put a single row. Inside my row, I'm going to put a slider module. If we roll down here, there's the slider module. And just for anybody that's interested, all these light blue ones here or dark blue ones here are the extra modules you get with the free Divi Supreme modules plugin that we just installed. I want a slider today, so I'm going to use a regular Divi slider there. And let's just save that and we'll delete this section on top. Okay, now we got rid of that section. We can go back into our slider here. Dark tab for the module. By default, it puts in two slides. I'm going to delete the second one. In my first one, I'm going to go in there, hit the little cog. I'm going to get rid of the title, unless, of course, you want a title at the top of yours. I'm going to get rid of the button. And I'm going to get rid of the content. That makes for a really exciting looking slide. To make it even more exciting, I'm going to get rid of the background too. Background's always under content. I'm just going to hit the little trash can on that color there. Great. Now, if we go back up to our text, this is where we're going to put our little short code. So let's go back to our layouts down here. Now that we've got the plugin installed and we've got our short codes up, here's the three blurbs that I saved. Just click on it. Control C to copy. Go back to the page. We'll paste it in the text area here. Control V to paste. And don't be worried if it doesn't look anything like it does it will do on the front end we've just got to do a bit of tweaking here to make everything look good while that's thinking about it i'm going to go back to my next one we're going to duplicate this slide in fact i see something wrong there it's got light text on it so i'm simply going to go into our first slide here i'm going to go to design and text i'm going to flip it from light to dark and i'll fix that little problem Save that, it'll take us back to our main slider setting. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to go back to our layouts. Get the next one, which I think was row two there. Again, just click on it, it'll highlight, control C to copy. Back to our page. Into the new slide. 
replace that short code, control V. I'm only going to do that a couple more times. Back to the layer. Next one, control C. Text area, replace that one, control V. And last one, we'll duplicate it back to our layouts. And of course, you could add as many or as few of these as you want to. Control C. Into our new slide. And we'll replace that one. Control V. Great. Well, I want mine to automatically slide between these slides. So make sure you're out of a slide setting by hitting this. Go over to our design. Right the way down at the bottom, you'll find animation. Here's automatic animation. And this question comes up every time that I do a slider. A lot of people say, well, I can't find automatic animation. It's not under my design. Chances are, if that's the case and you're in your slider, you're probably in one of your slides. Because if I'm in one of my slides, I go over to design. There's no animation down the bottom. If that's the case, hit the little green check mark. Make sure in your main slider settings, design, roll on down. And there's our animation. I'm going to flip that to on. By default, it gives it 7,000 milliseconds or 7 seconds. I'm going to leave it just like that. Continue automatic slide on hover is on my default. I like that because that way when they put their mouse on it, it's going to pause and they can read stuff and they can click on stuff. If you do want it to keep rolling every 7 seconds when they've got their mouse on it, you can flip that to on. I'm going to leave it to off. Great. Well, things are shaping up there. Like I say, don't worry too much if it's not looking exactly like it was on the other end. It will do by the time we save it. Okay. I want to make this row full width, give all this decent amount of row. I don't want to take any padding away from the top and bottom also. So I'm going to click anywhere within the row. I'm going to go into the row. To make the row full width, I'm going to go to design, sizing. Width 100%. I'm going to copy that, Control C, and paste it in the max width down below, Control V, or you can just type it in if you want to. That gives it a little bit more space there. Fantastic. I don't want to take any padding away, so I'm going to close up sizing. Padding top and bottom. I'm just going to put a zero in there. That's fine. Now we'll do the same for our section. And it looks like our slider by default is full screen. We'll change that as well. I don't want it quite full screen because my content doesn't really work full screen. I mean, it will, but I want it to take up for oh, 50%, 60%, something like that. We'll change that in a second. So let's go into our section first and we'll take away any padding that's up there. Blue tab for the section, design, spacing, padding top zero, Hit the chain, it'll do the bottom. Fantastic. Let's go into our little slide in there and we'll give it a particular size. Just click on it, dark tab for the slider module itself. Over to design and sizing. In the height, I'm going to give it, say, 60 VH, 60 viewable height, 60% of viewable height. That's okay. But we've got to adjust the padding at the top as well. So spacing is just down underneath. Padding top. And in 100 pixels, perhaps. That looks about right to me. Obviously, adjust yours to taste. And we should be good to go. So let's save our changes here. We'll save our page changes. Little purple button there at the bottom. Save draft or publish if you're ready. We'll exit the visual builder. And there we have it. There's our content slider. Here's our first one with our three blurb modules with the images on them. And you can navigate with the pagination dots or the arrows here. And of course, it's going to automatically animate. We've got three little call to actions there. You can click on the buttons. Yeah, we've got an image and a little blurb module there. And last but not least, we've got a contact form. You can click on, fill it out, submit it when you're ready.
And that's a great way of, like I say, putting a lot of content into a little real estate. And when you take your mouse back off again, it's going to start rolling around once more. Perfect. So for a free plugin, this really does have some great options. I've got a whole playlist about it. If you would like to learn more, and I'll put that down below the video. Great. So there you have it, guys. There's how to make a content slider from just about anything you want on your Divi website. Really, really nice little feature to have. And as you can see, really easy to do. This little free plugin certainly makes it a lot easier with the short codes. As I mentioned earlier, I've got a whole playlist on the Divi Supreme Lite. It's going to pop up over here any minute now. And if you'd like to learn more, just click on it. It'll take you to that playlist. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them if I can. Uh, or make a little demo video like this one. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's always great to hear from you. It gives me new ideas for new videos. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.